Uh, hey guys, I'm um, doing this video here because I'm just going to share my screen. Pretty much here on YouTube, right? Um, I've been watching these. I've been uh, in communication with some people that have gotten access to their Treasury Direct account. Uh, my microphone sucks, uh, so robots and the Patriots. So what I did was, now it's starting to pick up with these videos right here from robots and Patriots. These videos over here basically are showing you how to get access to the Treasury Direct account by using the estoppel by deed. Let me just, I am sharing screen. I already checked my microphone. So um, let me just check a few settings here quick. I'm not sharing video, it's recording. And okay. Sorry, bear with me. Okay. So I pretty much watch these back back and forth these past six videos seven videos probably all of them because you could see i watch all of these but sometimes i watch them at night right when i'm going to sleep so i just let them play out and i don't process all the information but i've watched a lot of these videos some of them i restarted over that's why it only shows a little uh like i'll just replay it and then i'll start my day but where i'm getting at is I have a few friends that are in the process of doing this estoppel by deed. Estoppel by deed, banker's lien. So I'm on it right now. So I'm going to go to another screen here and I'll just show you where I am. I'm up to this point here where I'm at, right? Look what I did. I did a search New York City land records. Why? Because, um, one moment. I don't need all of these, but I want to keep this page up. So I'm just going to move this here. So I have it all on one page now. So I basically in these videos, they're, they're saying that your birth certificate. So I looked at my birth certificate. I analyzed it. I have it in front of me here. Um, I could bring it up. Yeah, why not? Give me a moment. I'm just going to do that on another screen. I'm just going to bring up a, a copy of my birth certificate. Um, right here. I always forget where I put these things. So this is my, it's not fully authenticated, fully authenticated birth certificate, New York Apas Field, New York Apas Field birth certificate. Anyway, I just want to show this first page, but if you see, there's the front and back, this is the exemplification letter, this is at the county clerk, New York County clerk, this is when it came back from the state, Is th this is the one that got Apas Field, I believe, let me see. Full faith and credit. This is the state full faith and credit. This document right here is at the federal level. And what I do is I pretty much check every day. I go right here and I have UPS and I got send. When I sent it, you know, it'll say basically it was sent, it was received in Virginia, Sterling, Virginia. It was received on July 28th. Then I go over here, return. Oh, they sent it out. Thank God. 
Light, latest update, October 12th. Today's October 12th. Look at that. Great news. Your item has been delivered and is available at P.O. Box at 8.34 a.m. today. Wow. Holy smoke. I've been waiting for this. Oh, th these are the ones that I, these are actually, let's see the other one. I'm keeping that over. I'm so excited. Um, let's see here. The other one. Let's see if they sent them both back. They haven't sent the other one back. So basically on this day, I sent out three of them. And those were the ones that were apostilled on the state level, right? And and um, authenticated on the federal level because that's what I did at that time because they sent them to me. I didn't want them apostilled at the state level, but they sent them to me and I didn't want to have to fight with them and mail them back. So I just sent them out. But then I went ahead and went down and I got a bunch more birth certificates. And then I basically, let's see here, which one, I, I'm getting them mixed up. So now, uh, and then on this date, I sent them out on August 31st, one, just one. I got it authenticated in New York City uh, on the state level in one day. I sent it to an expediting. I already made a video on that. And then... That one was on August 31st, so that one ha is not coming back. But I'm going to make a trip to the post office because I have three birth certificates waiting there for me. They didn't give me any signs of it, but I'm happy. Now, latest update, delivered to Mastic Beach, New York on today. So they just got the 8.34 this morning. All right, so that's, that's a treat. All right, so back to the video. Um, back to what I'm sharing today. So now I went through these. Right. And what what they say in these videos, I'm going to make clips of these videos with all the highlights, because you have to watch the whole two hour video just to get like maybe five or six bits of information, because all the other stuff is all redundant or this. So I'm going to I'm going to take clips from these videos and make like a highlights. Right. Just for this process, because basically, if you can do this, get this estoppel by deed. Right. Which leads me to he said they say in here that they put you have to find your birth certificate as a land record. That's why they say land. That's why there's a video here with land patent letters, patent letters, patent. It, it's it's in there almost like real estate because, you know, they consider you property. So then. Over here, I got all the way up to the point where you in New York City, you use this, but a lot of the states haven't, and it, it falls under the Department of Finance, right? And I got up to this point where I was searching, you know, search by document type, and I, I tried every one. I went all the way to certificate, you know, and I put a date range, like a month when I was born search. Uh, and there's a couple, basically I'm on the right track. It's going to take me hours on a fresh mind today. I, I got to wake up and then start on this project early morning, but this is key. So if I had to map the process down based on what these videos are, let's see if I can do it. Um, give me a minute. Let me open up a document here. All right. All right. I use Word. So let's see here. But I would have to use it on a different screen and then because I want to see it. All right. So to my to my knowledge is of course. Right. Get multiple copies of your birth certificate or certificate of live birth. And then, oops, and let me see here, get this certificate. Uh, and you could use vitalcheck.com. All 
So, I mean, you could use vitalcheck.com or if you want to go down, now it's calmed down with the, you know, with the whole COVID thing. So uh, get multiple copies of your birth certificate. Okay, then, then of course, you know the process of this, but, you know, including letter of exemplification that comes with it. Make sure it's the long form period. So you could use vitalcheck.com or not. Then you have to get it. Um, there's people call it multiple different things, but it's, it's uh, get the notarized signature of the birth certificate certified at the county recorder, period. That's what I did here. Right? That's what I did here. You see, New York City Registrar, City Registrar, New York County Clerk. This is what you need, right? This is the exemplification letter that comes with the birth certificates when you order it in New York State, you know? So I'm not sure. Uh, and then this is that. And then you can send it out to get, to get it authenticated full faith and credit, make sure you pick Taiwan is, is working for everybody. Um, when you send it in, they're gonna ask you what country. All right, now word and, oops. Okay, get a notarized signature of the birth certificate. Get the notarized signature of the birth certificate certified at the county recorder. They basically verify that 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 notarization of the birth certificate. Next is send birth certificate and all above documents to your state to get authenticated. Use non Hague country. Comma, Taiwan has been working for many people, period. All right, then obviously I don't have a copy of the uh, authenticated certificate from the government, but you would, uh, then you're gonna go to the, you know, Department of State, United States Department of State. I mean, you know, you could find that, but I mean, I have that here. Um, Office of, right here. Office of Authentications. This is it. You got it. I'm not going to go through this whole. Let me make sure there's not. Yeah, yeah. Travel state that government is for the U.S. government. So you just go here. You follow the instructions. You know, or you could use an expediting company. Uh, and then you send it there. And obviously, you you you've seen how long it takes, right? Because if I if I sent it out on July 28th, July 28th, August 28th, September 28th, October 12th. So it's September, uh, oh, uh, July 28th, August 28th, September 20th, that's two months, that's 60 days. And then another, say 12, 14 days, um, 74 days. So it took 74 days, two months and, uh, you know, two months and a half, two and a half months. It took two and a half months to get to get this back. So that's what you're up against. You send it there, you get the authenticated uh, to your state and then send all above documents to the above United States Department of State for full faith and credit authentication, specify non-Hague country, many are getting results with Taiwan. Got it. So 
send all the documents to the United States Department of State for full faith and credit authentication, specified non-hate country. Um, many are getting results with, with uh, Taiwan. All right, now, when, and once you get that, then... Uh, okay. So then um, I got that. So over here, they're basically saying that you have to get, you have to put a lien on your land record at wherever your birth certificate was, not at the county you live in now, but where the birth certificate was. So I need help. I, I would love for people to help me in the comments, make a shoot a quick comment and give us some, some little pieces to the puzzle, because I know a, a lot of you, there's a lot of people that watch my videos that are or had already uh, you know achieved um you know accessing and uh accessing their their funds so um i got up to this point and i'm getting close now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call them uh, on my cell phone i was able to um you know on my cell phone i was able to just dial 311 but over here i have to dial a 212 number and i'm gonna call them right now because Skype you can use and then it gets recorded on Zoom. So let's call. Hello, and thank you for calling 311 in New York City. We're here to help. But if this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Today, Wednesday, alternate side parking and parking meter rules are in effect. Tomorrow, Thursday, alternate side parking and parking meter rules are in effect. To continue in English, please press 1. All other callers, please remain on the line. Para español, presione 3. Для выбора русского языка, нажмите 4. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, I'm going to go live on YouTube. More go live on YouTube. Oh, I'm not even signed in. These are all some old, different things. Um, I am not even on. Why are they using Firefox? Because that's my default. What the fuck? I can't do this now? I want to do this. Uh, live on YouTube, Facebook, Workplace, live, YouTube. Too bad, um, because maybe it knows my, none of these. It's not showing up, let me see. I'm over here. It's still bringing me back to this because this is my default. Um, I'm not going to be putting in my password. It's, oh, let me see here. It's sign into Zoom. All right, fuck it. Let me see. Let me see if I remember my password. Enter email or phone quick. Zoom wants access to your Google account. Select what Zoom can access. See, edit and permanently delete your YouTube videos. Manage your YouTube account. See your primary Google account. Make sure you trust Zoom. Associate with your personal info on Google. Finding birth certificate, uh, birth certificate. Oh, I'm going to just do birth certificate book page number, book and page number.
number file file is double. I want to make sure I spell that right. S top bell. S top L. 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 I I think it's a stop L with an E L. Oops. A stop L by D. Birth certificate book page number to file a stopple by D. Public insufficient authentication scopes. Let me copy this. See, edit and permanently delete your videos, ratings, comments, caption, manage your YouTube account. Is this only select what Zoom can access? Ah. Make sure you trust Zoom. I don't like it. I don't want to do this. Let's see here. See, edit and permanently delete your YouTube videos. Ratings, comments, and captions. Manage your YouTube account. Let's just see if that does it. Ah, fuck it. Oh, So that's it. I muted it out. I'm going to take this to a different window so I can see it over there. And let me just minimize it. Anyway, so, so where were we? We were over here where basically I, um, there's a, a, about, there's a bunch of like a half hour or so. I already started recording, but I just decided to go uh, live. Uh, so you're gonna have to catch the uh, the replay, but um, to see the full scope. But I'm at a point now where I want to. I'm calling to get regarding the the estoppel by deed. Um, I want to find the book and page number for my birth record. So I'm trying to do this. So I was here at Skype calling in the New York City Department of Finance, that's where all the land records are. So, Side parking and parking meter rules are in effect. Tomorrow, Thursday, alternate side parking and parking meter rules are in effect. To continue in English, please press one. All other callers, please remain on the line. Para español. For information on vaccines, testing, coronavirus help, monkeypox, just so you know, food assistance, I'm calling or the New York, New York City State Department State of Finance to find assistance out assistance program, where I please can. Please press one. For assistance with parking tickets, including bus lane, red light, or speed camera violations, please press two. To make a noise complaint, please press three. To report trash, recycling, or compost that was not picked up on your collection day, please press four. For information on how to order, make a correction, or get the status of a birth certificate, please press five. To speak with a Department of Finance property tax expert about your notice of property value or property taxes, please press six. All up. Due to COVID-19, the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene has limited in-person ordering and updating of birth certificates until further notice. To make your request in person, you must schedule an appointment online. You can also update a birth certificate by mail 
or request a copy by mail or online. Mail orders take four weeks to process, while online orders take two to three weeks. Updates to a certificate can take up to 12 weeks to process. After processing, all orders can take an additional two weeks to be delivered. Please note, you can only order online for yourself or your child. If all your other callers, is please remain else, on the line. You but must by make mail. it by mail, as you will have to provide some documentation. To order online or to schedule so your in-person appointment, please visit nyc.gov forward slash health. Again, that's nyc.gov forward slash health. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Thank you for calling 311. My name is Shamika. How may I assist you today? How are you doing, Shamika? Uh, I'm looking I'm great. I'm, I'm great. That's nice to hear. I have my birth mm -hmm. certificate, right? And I mm -hmm. want to find out uh, the, the book and page number where the birth certificate is filed on. Uh, uh, I need that for, for um, a project that I'm doing. It's required. Can you help me with that? I want to find out where the birth certificate gets filed, almost like a land record. Okay. Um, so you said you're looking for, can you repeat that exactly for me? Sure. My birth certificate, it has all my information on the birth certificate. I'm looking at it right now. I need to know where, what the book page and uh, the book and page number is of where it's, it's, it's placed or, or recorded. Mm -hmm. Where where the all the information is recorded. Recorded. Yeah, I need the book and page number, and then because I want to make a notation, I want to put I want to put like a uh, a document into that area, uh, like a mm -hmm. record. I want to make a record onto my birth record. Is what I want to do. Okay, so you you want to know the book and page number that your birth certificate is recorded on. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so just hold on a moment. Let me see if I can provide you any information. Please hold. Thank you. I want to find out where the birth certificate gets filed, almost the record. Okay. I'm here. Sure. My birth certificate, it has all my information on the birth certificate. Hi, thank you for calling. Um, thank you for holding. Okay, so um, so the information I have here, so you could research, download, or print digitalized historical vital records, but that's dating between the the. Um, okay, hold on. So um, for you, you would have to email them, 
for a library and archive um archive research. So that email is research at records dot nyc dot gov. Research at uh, could you repeat that slowly? Sure. So that's research at records dot nyc dot gov. So the so the municipal library and archives research rooms are open to the public, um, but by appointment only, Monday through Friday, nine a.m. to twelve p.m. So that's called and the, one p.m. to four p.m. That's called what again? The municipal library and archives. Okay, library and archives, and yeah, is that where is that where my my birth certificate is going to be archived? Yeah, so that's where it would that would be where the library um for all of the and it also if you wanted family history as well. Okay. So there will be another um email for that one if you wanted family history. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh so uh let's go back a little bit and ask you you got this information from your from your supervisor? They gave you this information? Yes. Okay. What's the address if I wanted to visit the municipal library and archive? And you're saying by appointment only, right? Do, which uh, is yeah, there a well, website? Um. So let let me just see because I gotta um research that. Hold on a second. And then and the address, you know the the address and the um and the, if there's a website. Thank you. Okay. And so I, I, I'm a, I, I appreciate website. your help. Oh, no problem. It's, it's not a problem at all. I'm trying to research that right now. Okay, don't have a Okay, so I'm just gonna put you on another hold. Just um, bear with me a moment, please hold. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so thank you for holding. So I don't see a, a address for them, but you can just do your indep own independent search and just and look for the municipal library and, and archives research room. Um, so I'm not seeing an address. It, it, it says to schedule an appointment. You can you so you can email them for the library and uh, at this address that this email address that I gave you, mm -hmm. which is research at records dot nyc dot gov so if you wanted to schedule an appointment you would have to email them so i'm so i'm um so i'm guessing that they will give you an address of once you make an appointment to go in there uh, is there a phone number for them no it's just the okay. they don't have any contact information okay i think uh, uh from what i call in about and this is helpful definitely for for my research but I the the the, uh, the item that I want help with is is in a different area. It, uh, not, it's because it's been recorded not as archive, 
but it's recorded as 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 a land record. I wanted to. Can I speak to your supervisor that might know a little more? Ju just because I, um, of what I'm asking for, it might it might be above our heads. Like I don't know. I, I want to know where I can file a document to attach it to my birth record as a land record. I know okay. it exists. I've been I've been uh, guided. Uh, I've been assisted by some mentors that that um, and I'm trying to locate that position. Is there any way I can speak to a, maybe a supervisor? I thank you so so much for all your help. Okay, no problem. Just just, just um, please hold. Let me see if I can be able to transfer you over to someone. Please hold. Thank you. No problem. So I was just talking, speaking with my superiors, and so there is not a number for vital records, and so she, so what my supervisor said that I can, so the only way to contact um, through vital record is through their email. So you would have to, I can give you the address, the email address for the vital records, and you'll be able to communicate with them through that way. But um, as far as with the the um, the land record, she said if you need to speak with, so that the municipal. Um, the ad email address that I gave you before, that is where the records or any records would be. So you could, you could make an appointment, but if you needed to speak further to someone from the Department of Vital Records, I can give you the email for you to um, be able to contact them because we don't have that information on okay. our end. Let me have that then. Unfortunately. Okay, so that's NYC, DOH for Department of Health, VR for Vital Records at health.nyc.gov. Okay, let me make sure it's N on N Y C D O H V R at health dot N Y C dot gov. Yes. Okay, you're saying there's no phone number for the department of for the vital records? No, we don't we don't even have a phone number for vital records. So that would be an email um that you would have to have contact with them um through email if you needed any further assistance on those vital records. Okay. All right. All right, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you for calling 311. Take care. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right, so 
pretty much I got nothing. Uh, I'm, I, I've, I, I've already, I've emailed these people before uh, and I just, I don't know, it takes them, it takes some time to respond, you know? Um, so what am I doing now? So anyway, I got up to this point here where I know it's in here. I found this ACRIH, which is the Automated City Register Information System. All of the counties have something like this. Some of them you have to pay for if you want to use it. With New York City, they made it free. This is something different. I should X this out. Now we already we already looked at that. So I went here. So I have a couple of different. I have to basically spend time going through here. But I have a friend that's going to go down to the vital records in New York City this upcoming week. I either may go with him, or if I can't. I'm going to have him find out where this, uh, this book, where the birth certificate, where the birth certificate is lodged. I mean, I'm look, when I look at this, I see, you know, this right here, uh, C11713. And over here, if you notice on, it says December 1st, 1971, that's two or three days afterward uh, at 1031 AM was when it was lodged at, in 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 maybe i just need to know the book and page number which could be this book page number so let me just minimize this window here uh and by the way look i didn't even have a first name until three three years later so I didn't even have a first name. They put the first name in, given name added from a supplemental report. That means that 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 last name is copywritten and you know copywritten by the Vatican. That's why they they rush to do this. They get this thing out right away, two days later, because they want to copyright that name so they can make money on the whole on the whole family. Uh, anybody who's got a birth certificate and such, but. Is what I'm hearing. So the first name is not even that important. That's who you are. Look up or lower. All caps. Interesting, you know. I don't see anything else. I thought my mom was so young, but she had me 28. There's nothing else that's that says, oh yeah, that's good. I can zoom into this. I want to see this right here. No, that's just a stamp. As I was looking at this, I thought it might have been some little coding in there, but no, it's the stamp. It's worn. There's nothing else. There's nothing else about page book and page number. This is when I got it. This is the securities number here. This is certified foregoing. Is a true copy of a record on file in the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Department of Health and Mental Hygiene does not certify to the truth of the statements made therein as no inquiry as to the facts has been provided by law. Do not accept this transaction on transit script unless it bears the security feature listed on the back. Reproduction or alteration of this transcript is prohibited by section 319B of the New York State Health Code, purpose of evasion of violation of any provision of the health code. Print here, mailing. Address of the mother, certificate of the copy of the certificate will be mailed to her when the filing. That's it. That's it. I just got to find out about these right here. I'm going to do the email right now. New York City Department of Health. Let me just move this over here. I'm gonna do a search because I, I could have sworn that New York City right here. Uh, ah, there's nothing important here. No, no private correspondences. New York City, right? D O H V R D O H V R. Yep, right here. I've been in communication with them. 
what? No messages match your suggestion. So why is it in there? What is going on here? Why is it in my email? NewYork.gov, eVital Systems, Invoice from New York or DMV. Welcome to New York. Oh, New York government ID. Invoice amount paid. New York Department of United States Postal Renewal. Oh, it's only because they have NY. And why is this in here if I don't have any mails? I know. I think I know why. I got to do all mail. What is going on here? Let me see what these other ones are. I've been on, I've, I've been in communication with the woman from uh, the director of the vital statistics. She sent me those things right away. I called and complained. I, I emailed and complained. What is this? Okay, I know what this is. This is for uh, uh, regist uh, uh, reg uh, registration renewal. DMV, 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 eVital systems right here. Okay, order. Now your order is in progress once complete. Let me just show my, maybe I used a different email. Your order is in progress. Once complete, we will mail you via express mail. The express mail started recently. Yeah, this is this year. This is when I started using this. I would have to go to another email. Anyway, I'm not going to go through this right now. So uh, I'm not even going to email them right now. Let me see. Oops, I just closed that, that whole browser out. So I just wanted to see if anybody has any information. Um, basically, I'm going to figure it out, but you go through here, you go begin you using you at UCSR, right? Open a new tab. You go here, search property records, find an address, create tax form, electronic data services, you know, so this is where I want to log in using your New York City account, log in using one of these option employees. This is not anything. Uh, now I'm going to search for this municipal New York City Municipal Library and Archive. New York City Municipal Library and Archive. Hmm, maybe she did give me the right information. Records management. Notations, view our previous municipal library notes, subscribe to municipal library notes to receive one quarterly newsletter that's not it. Government publications portal. The library also makes a The municipal library contains more than 400,000 unique reports. Records management, man, that's it. Oh my God, look at this. Paper record stockpile 
Wow. Book, page number, year. Look at that. Cross sections of the river. Amazing. Look at this. All right, let's see if this is it. Now, let me see. When I did the search, New York City Municipal Library and Archive. The Municipal Library, contact the Municipal Archives Library. Oh, this is the same place. Let me see if. Doris provides access to city agency, social media archives, and New York City government website archives. Through these platforms, you can find published content that may no longer be available on original websites. Anyway, I got to go through this open records portal. I'd have to go through this with a fresh mind. I have to, yeah, because I got too many open windows open now, so that's it. I just wanted it. I'm sure maybe someone that might have done anything like this uh, could, like, maybe assist us uh, in the comments. In New York City is a different creature. I'm sure it's easy. You know, if you if you go down to your, if you were born at the same county you live in now, you just go down to the county and you can find it. But for me, you I have to go all the way to New York City. It's too far. It's 70 miles away. That's a whole day project. I can't do that right now. So anyway, that's about it. Let me just check the live. That's it. All right, I'm going to end this then. So this is where I'm up to. And if I have to go down, I'll ask my friend if he's going to, Go down. And like I said, I had the beginning of this video, which I'm going to upload. It's this is a partial. Um, the full one is not going to it's not going to probably show up as a live. It's going to show up as a, just a video full, like a full variant. So this is what I'm working on right now. I want to get that. So back to this. So and then we have the uh, the word document here. Send all the above to the United States Department of State for full credit. Then after that, basically. You want to get the EINs, your estate EIN, the private banker EIN, and your foreign grant or trust EIN. And then you want to go to, then you want to basically um, take one of your birth certificates and there's some writing on the back. You do an endorsement on the back and you do what they say here in one of these videos, coupon draw. Right, coupon endorsement. You, you get this, you regenerate this document here, and then you basically make, look, pay to the order of, and then they send you a US treasury check to private, you know, to, to your private banker, because he's the fiduciary. Um, so basically you get a birth certificate and then you send it in here. And uh, now you have, you get the estoppel by deed, you know, the estoppel by deed, it's in one of these and banker's lien. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a banker's lien on the, on the record at the county. Let me do something here. And then they pretty much, they send you a check and I have people that have gotten, that have gotten funds. So, so, you know, if anyone knows anything about this or, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to make videos and share as much information as possible, but I'm working on this now. So, you know, um, that's the process.
and all the above. All right, after you get that, you you know you because uh, you've already gotten a couple of birth certificates, and then uh, you got to get the EINs. Get a state EIN. Get a state EIN. A state. Private bankers, private bankers, foreign grantors trust, all right, the one you get these then, You get the estate EIN, private bankers EIN, and then the foreign grant to trust EIN. And then And then you open up a treasury direct account, then you could, you know, I've already, I've already, um, I did this last year. I tried getting in here, but I found out the ticket, the, 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 the key is you need a private banker's number. Um, because I got all the way to a point and then I got stumped. They said, you have to have a company or something like that and create a new account. Do you have an account treasury direct? create a new account for government users? Hmm. For government users, forgot my account number. My account number doesn't start with a letter. <laughs> if your account number starts with a letter, click the next button below. Account number. I'm going to put in the number on the back of my social. Give me one second. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at me. What a dick. I'm already sharing it. Anyway. All right. Look at all the fives I have in this number. No, I can't do that. Let me see. Warning. The account number you entered is not valid. Please, anyway, I don't know. I'm just saying. So basically, you gotta we gotta figure it out. Create a new account, forgot my account number, forgot my password, one-time passcodes. Bureau of the Fiscal Service. Fed Invest for government use. So then basically afterwards you're gonna get these numbers, then you record a stop or by deed at your county, birth record as a land record. And then what else? And then you uh, send a coupon draw to the Federal Reserve, send a coupon draw to the Federal Reserve. Receive check in the mail. 
So that's it. One page. Uh, so that's it. All right, I'm going to end this. I'll continue this another day because um, I have a couple of things to do. All right, so I'm going to stop this live and um, peace and blessings to all because I'm, I'm getting too confused now. I, I had a lot on my plate this morning, Skype, Zoom. Stop share and and meeting for all.